Uh oh, here we are. Well, about time for more. Tell me why. Another Wednesday. How's it going, Mr. A? Dionysus, cool guy, Victorian, and O. You know, I've been thinking about this game, and uh, I don't know why there's no sound, but there is no sound right now. I feel like there should be. Come on, you. Yeah, what? With guidance from cultural, mental health, and transgender advocates. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> oh, I know why there's no sound. Um, let's see here. Settings, audio. Uh, maybe I don't know why there's no sound. Wait, 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 wait. Language. <laughs> Accessibility. I mean, whatever. Uh, enter. I don't know. So, yeah, I've been thinking about this game. I'll, uh, let you know once we get back in. Oh, yep, yep, and there's the church. That more sort of Eastern-style church, right? Which, again, you see a lot of up in, uh, Alaska. So, can I skip past this? Oh, no, we gotta watch this cutscene again. <laughs> so, this game, you know, so far, when we've looked at Tyler... Ah, oh, great, I can't wait till they start talking. Uh, we've seen Tyler as a very abrasive character. And we've not liked him. Him. Mm. We've not liked Tyler. Okay, come on. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? Alright. I wish I could skip past this, but I can't. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Why would she? You killed her best friend. So I'm guessing this is Michael? <laughs> okay, so in uh, this game, we've seen Tyler as abrasive and annoying. But I'm wondering for some of the, because mostly young girls are playing this game. And they've been indoctrinated with a lot of ideas about this before they start playing the game, right? How much of them, how, when they look at Tyler, do they see Tyler being abrasive and annoying and unkind? I mean, he's done some things that I think everyone should see as that. But when it comes to like, oh, the drunk guy comes in and, you know, uses the wrong term. Because he doesn't, he, he's never heard of this stuff, right? Like... And when Tyler responds in an unkind way to this guy who's never heard of any of this stuff, we might see it as Tyler being a jerk, but how many of the young girls playing this game see this as sort of righteous indignation? Sort of fun, pumps them up. After all, who's, who's a character that engaged in a lot of righteous indignation and was very popular for it? How about, have you ever played Mass Effect? Renegade Shepard. Anyone ever a fan of Renegade Shepard? Renegade Shepard's voice lines are all righteous indignation. Well, you thought so-and-so. Well, you were wrong, you know. That's all righteous indignation. So this is a character that I think, while we find it very embraceable because we're not indoctrinated in this whole thing, a young girl who is might see his abrasiveness or Tyler's abrasiveness as sort of this cool righteous indignation yeah you you tell them bigots tyler hey, you. you tell them you, you hey, tell them isn't it your day off yep we're here as patrons tyler meet michael this is the annoying co-worker i was telling you about i was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers and i've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker rude <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. The Tyler talk. <laughs> so, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Tyler's hey, a man. I'm all for efficiency. And he cut wood. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Uh, 
He wants to move too. Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or? Well, I mean, yeah. Oh. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing set in stone. Makes sense. Ooh. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a the chef. The more so, Ronins, uh, the merrier. You know it'll be yeah, you shouldn't have killed that and one. Hey, I only snore during <laughs> allergy season and baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all smeagle about their fishing spots. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Oh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Uh-huh. Dionysus says, he's so masculine. Exactly. They they had him walk over and, <laughs> and chop one piece of wood when he's, like, he just naturally walks up to someone else's wood pile, picks up a piece, and just chops it. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Tyler's so masculine. Once again, I'm I'm really confident. It might not be very much. There's going to be some girl somewhere in the world who played this game. And then when one of her little girls doesn't wear a dress and doesn't want to wear pink and chops a piece of wood, they're going to be like, oh, that's it. You know, uh, Teresa, we're putting you on hormones. You're Tyler now. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Becky? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. The uh, old boys club. I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. It's time to remember with our special powers. Should we go inside? I want to have the crispy tocino. And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Okay. Man, well. I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Seafood, steaks, coffee. What the heck? They turned that fan into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing, though, right? You can't miss it. Uh huh. Okay. Well, get the hell out of the way, Tyler, you bum. <laughs> I want to get through this game. I'm playing a different game at the end of this stream. Whether this game, whether we finished episode one or not, we're done with this game today. <laughs> and I have a bonus game. A fun, good bonus game. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. I have to look at this, whatever this is. <gasps> Tessa's I... still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. More for I really us. Hope they get enough we're not going to be raptured because we're what? sinners. They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon migration. Why would... Uh, so what are they going to do? Build the lodge in the middle of the river? Block the river? Why would, the, why would a lodge screw up the salmon migration? Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Residents have reported letters and packages stolen from mailboxes. Come on, I'm freezing here. Uh-oh. Who would be stealing in a small white community in Alaska? Oh, wait. It's part white and part native, isn't it? Maybe it's one of the white people. Army natives with his package theft. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? No. Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. 
Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. God, <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house. Not but really. surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. No, they hate it. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. That's where you killed I your mother. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Oh, so uh, <laughs> this is the this is the engaging gameplay I came for. I can take the candy or Damn, the chips. Because because can because Tyler wants the candy, but I want the chips. What's this? Which ones do you like? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? What the heck is that? Okay. Well, I guess Sugar I'll take. Rush it is. I guess I'll take the candy. Strawberries in November. Uh oh. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet, or the candles. So basically nothing. Hey, I've been taking it all in. Um, <laughs> Jacob says on a scale from one to a hundred, how much has this game driven you mad? I'd say it's like an eighty. I know for some of you it's like a ninety-nine. Hey Tom. When'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? With the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded. But I pulled some strings to get it out. So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got oh, friends man. in places. Marrying. This hey, is Tyler, so goofy. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. This is so mundane. So mundane. Uh, okay, so let's talk to the uh, nose pierce guy. Ew. Canned ham? How do people eat this? What the Inventory, huh? Their mouth. Uh, yeah, my mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Um... This place is a mess? God. I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> Tyler you will need really those. You really saved my ass when you <laughs> caught that. Yep. And you still owe me for it. Anyway. How's your day going? We found something? We, uh... We found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. <laughs> and I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. Yeah, you can uh, hear it from t well, from the I'll murderer. If you need me, <laughs> you can hear the story from the person who murdered the woman. Okay. <laughs> Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Wow, no opinionated righteous indignation take about one cleaning product or another. Uh, what's this say? They both say all surface. I mean, all surface is probably fine. I can't see the prices. I assume mm, this is the... Organic's better. Oh, is this organic? Oh, it's organic's better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I figured the one on the right just looked more generic. So it would be cheaper. But I'm guessing I picked up the expensive one. I got the organic cleaner. Okay. Candles? Somewhere? Is this what I need, right? What's this? 
Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Uh, pff, water is fine. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. <clears throat> you do you, girl. All right, thanks. <laughs> hey, if we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream in 20 degree weather? Ice cream in all weather. We already bought candy. Okay. Um. Jeez. This is really fun, guys. Where the heck are the candles? Am I still need this? What's this? Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Yeah, there's. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I mean, like. Maple trees aren't the only trees with edible uh, sap that you can boil down into syrup. There is birch syrup. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Oh. Okay. What the heck's this say? Bait for my next fishing trip. Holly candle, scented light candle. And that says, I can't even read it. Who knows what it is? Mm. Plain candles are fine. Yeah. Plain candles are fine. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. I I know. He, my character works here. Why would you need to tell me who rings me up at the counter? Um, Victorian says, get him juice. It's the least healthy. More or less, probably. Oh, we could get guns. Allison, Aren't you running for more gun control? Trees. My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Sensible gun control, guys. Sensible gun control. Which you isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Here's your 15 pennies. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my uh, god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? All right. We want to ask you some questions about her. Uh -oh. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. <sighs> I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> God. Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. Yeah. It's not that easy. You killed her. <laughs> you killed her. What happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Dude, Best of luck is... to you, truly. This is so weird. This is so what weird. What the hell was that? This is a... I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? You, you, yeah, yeah. everything but you here is weird. <laughs> oh my! Now what? What? Are, where do you? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> are you chasing her to the back of this? Oh wait! Oh, we got. There's a remember thing somewhere. What the? Where the? Where's the remember thing? Oh, here we go. Time to remember. <laughs> hey guys, you all done yet? 
Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Hmm. Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version. Okay. Oh, separate versions of the memory. This is going to be a gimmick throughout the rest of the game. You can tell. You can tell. Different memories, different interpretation. Which one's the real one? Ooh. Exactly, exactly the kind of sect you'd expect. Uh, the kind of thing you'd expect in media directed at women. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to... Which is it gonna be? <gasps> oh my goodness. So I can say choose... I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on her. I want to talk to you now. What? Or do I need to start calling in your debt? I don't know. So I. I want to talk to you. Okay. Which is it going to be? Which is it going to be? Oh, here is the other option. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Ooh. Which interpretation do we want, guys? Tessa being angry or Marianne Please, being angry? Ooh. Dionysus says this is a boring power. Oh, well, and it's also significantly less useful when it doesn't actually tell you what really happened and instead, like, lets you... Well, unless we're, like, actually rewriting history, right? We're rewriting Which history here. Be? Which is it gonna be? Well, I better decide. Hey, gamers! Gamers! Who's angry? Tessa or Marianne? Victorian says they have the most lame superpower of all time. They can remember things... That they both experienced. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes I also remember things. <laughs> like with my family members who experienced the same thing. And I say, you remember that time we're blank? And then they're like, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Which is it going to be? <laughs> <Ooh -hoo -hoo. clears throat> what? Nero says, talking about trans rights, remember to like and subscribe to our boy Embargo. What are you implying here, Nigo? Uh, t Nero? Oof. <laughs> they do have telepathy. They can talk to each other. Please, let's. Wired says, dude, does the truth even exist? Or is it. Yeah. Could just be a matter of interpretation. Wired says, do they only have telepathy with each other? If so, that power is covered by cans and string. I believe they only have the voice and telepathy with each other. It's like text. It's like texting each other. Like they could, um, they could across the table speak to each other, while you and me could put our phones on no vibrate and text each other. Which is right? it going to be? It would be slightly more obvious that we're texting them. Dionysus says that would at least be a twist to retcon all of history with their memory. Yeah, exactly. Please. Let's just talk no, I, I said minutes. Nero. It just sounded different. Um, I want to talk to you. T I'm going to say okay. Marianne was angry. We'll pick Marianne. Tyler's memory. Marianne I don't give a crap. Fight. Let's go. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. 
I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, oh my let's God. not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. All right, children, go play you two, outside. Wait here. Oh, <laughs> don't don't go play outside. What is wrong with you? Bing. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Oh. Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. This, that's interesting. And, well, Ando says, Embargo, what are your pronouns? You know what my pronouns are. Um, Mr. A says, So the game might end that Tyler killed his mother, not in self-defense, but the version that is chosen would not, not be that? Um, I'm not sure what you're saying. Dionysus says, of course, Tyler remembers his mother as the angry one. Yeah, true. I mean, he's the one saying that she was bad and he killed her. So on some level, it wants me to pick all the other things, but we'll go ahead and go with this. Hello, I'm, in, I'm here to invade your office. Tell me. Talk to me. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> this wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. That's so weird. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> well, yeah. But, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Oh, it's about emotions. Maybe listening to it. It's the power of emotions. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Guys, emotions we'll are the key. What song it was. See, uh, it's it's by using the power of emotion that things get done. This is very much a game for girls. <laughs> Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Gosh. 81? That's... Hey, Tom. He's not that old. something I can help you with? <laughs> like, he's not 50. Um, <laughs> 81. He's got a salt and pepper beard. He's going gray. What is he? He's like 40. 81. <laughs> uh, Wired says, what race is Tessa supposed to be? I think she's either full or part native, right? Native Alaskan. Um, remember that song? This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A uh -oh. little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. The old baldied man trying to find his ancient <laughs> compactest tech. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Okay, it's time to let the power of emotion, music, emotion, let it take you. We'll solve the mystery through our emotions and our special powers. <laughs> Can't you see? 
This is it, right? Think so. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Should we check this one out? Should we check this one out? I oh I guess. Oh wait, is there something here? Oh. It's time to remember. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. Hmm. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You killed her. That's what. That's what happened. You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what happened. <laughs> God. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Okay. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Oh, wait a second. Did our irresponsible white mom need all sorts of charity from some helpful, wonderful non-white who made us special meals and gave our mom free food and all sorts of things? Where the heck is this memory? Where is it? Hello? Memory? Where the hell is it? Okay, here's one. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Uh oh. 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 What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It had a creepy it vibe. Though. Like maybe conversion, conversion. therapy. Conversion. Christians. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true. I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. It had a creepy vibe. It was about a Christian camp that would deal with gender confusion things. Terrible stuff. Terrible. Okay. Is there any other memories in here? I mean, the music stops, so I'm guessing it's over. <clears throat> Alright. Come on. Any more memories? I think that's probably it. We can maybe sneak into her... <laughs> office standing behind her and snoop through her stuff we should yeah. see if we can find that notebook she was holding yeah i think they're all piled up in tessa's office somewhere yeah let's see uh oh yeah i can turn on her computer maybe i could rifle through her uh cabinet can i help you allison oh uh, no no thanks i'm good i'm just looking for something that i forgot <laughs> let me just look through all your stuff <laughs> Why would I take this? It says take. Why would I take her stuff? Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Someone got paid to write this. What? Why is Tom talking?
Okay, what, what, um... Paid off, debt, debt. Oh, so wait, wait, what's it? Uh, um... Elijah, okay, yeah, yeah. Eric. <laughs> God. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. No show. Check bounce. No show. Not returning calls. No show. Oh, man. Okay. Leave. <laughs> I'm just standing behind this woman looking through her stuff. <laughs> no, I just started to look for something I had forgotten. God. God. <laughs> oh, man. Sh should I turn on her computer and look through that, too? Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. What's this? A line? Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Alliance for traditional families? Well, traditional families are awful. We should hate that. Articulating God's design for sexual pal sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp, now in its 20th year. <clears throat> Um, I don't know if there are any of these other ones. I mean, I could look through all our stuff. What if I told you the government owed you up to $10,000 cash to go to school? Click here to let us know if you'd prefer a check or direct deposit. Linda at defnotascam.com. Oh, that was, that's real, it's real, uh, funny game developers. Your order of garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. Hey, Tessie. I'm just going to read all of her emails. Um, got back from my workation. Found the girls in bed, sleeping like happy logs. Please let them know what saint you prayed to pull that off. Oh my gosh, no, they're Christians. They must be bad. I think they're Catholics if they're praying to saints, right? Um... We love you, Auntie Tessa. You come for dinner. Your favorite little sister. Lisa has flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in a week. Oh my god. Email inbox. Can't click on anything else here. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Okay, guys. It's the big moment. We gotta address this Christian bigot. Hello. Is there something I can do for you? We remembered things that we now need to confront you about, Tessa. Prepare yourself. We're back with details that should help your memory. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> Marianne was having one of her days. Righteous indignation. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing. And you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. Oh. See? <laughs> oh, God. I'm supposed to know? Wow. I, 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 I wasn't paying attention. Jeez. Louise, guys. What am I supposed to do? When did Tyler kill her? I don't remember. Oh, God. Let me Google this. <laughs> Let me search this on the phone. Um, <laughs> what's what's this game? Oh, yeah. Tell me why Mary, Mary Ann Tessa argue month. October. <laughs> October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. 
I don't know why she always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. True. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. And I think this is like what I'm saying here. I don't know if uh let me let me let me take a look at that. let me look at my phone here. Um Let me take a look here. Okay. So I think the the I, when I was looking at this conversation, I was kind of wondering if they did something really clever where, like, depending on what you say to her, it, it sort of brings about a different past. Which is, you know, we played Disco Elysium on stream, and Disco Elysium ha kind of has that kind of stuff that goes on in it. Where, where, like, the more you say stuff, it can actually bring things into reality. Uh, which is like that one game, Planescape Torment. The more you say something, like, that thing can actually become real. Um, but in this case, there is a correct answer, and it was, you told her about the camp. You told her about the camp. The Christian camp that wants traditional families. The worst thing of all. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you <clears throat> gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families. How dare you! Oh my god. It's the Virtue Seekers Truth Camp. <laughs> Which is a very interesting name. Virtue Seekers. Um, Lovester says, uh, Is that all the game is about? Shaming people who don't agree with their way of life? We're definitely seeing a lot of righteous indignation. Right? Like, there are people who have addressed... So, Tyler on the left. Female to male transsexual who have used the wrong term to refer to Tyler, and we've spoken to them un unkindly because they didn't understand the right term. We have righteous indignation against them. We know that this woman is a terrible woman because she supports, of course, traditional families. And we have righteous indignation about, uh, about that. There's a lot of, like, um... When people are confident that they're right, not just, like technically correct but when they are morally in the right you get that bloodlust that you're the bad person and we're gonna get you and that's what this is about but it's specifically about the sort of new morality of um you know transsexualism the diversity and all this stuff it's the new morality that a lot of the young girls who play this game have been brought up in right <sighs> Mr. A says, the moral of the story is, if you think your mother is transphobic, you, can, you can't you can steal money from her, her anymore, and you're upset. She deserves death. Wired is saying, Disco is looking like fine art after this game's. Steven says, Planescape is awesome. Exactly. I was thinking about playing Planescape on stream, like, on a weekend, but uh, it would be a lot of reading. Like, I'd have to read a lot of stuff to you guys. <laughs> Nero says, she likes traditional family, so she's evil, right? That's one point against her. But she's a woman and non-white, so maybe she's only misguided and can be redeemable. Well, exactly. In my video on my main channel, where I talked about that one movie, uh, the one, I, I, I did a movie review. And in that movie review, I spent some of the time talking about a different movie, The Shape of Water. In The Shape of Water, the, um, the most virtuous, wonderful person was the woman who engaged in bestiality, and her ally was the homosexual. Once, and the, the worst of the worst were the white, heterosexual, married, traditional families, and sort of in between there was that black family, right? The woman was good, but the man was bad. So, like, he's black, that's one point for him, but he's in a traditional re uh, relationship and a marriage, heterosexual. Those are two points against him. He's generally bad. He, he cooperated with the evil. So, if you've ever seen The Shape of Water, take a look at the, all the characters. The most evil ones, the most creepy ones. 
the most creepy scene in the movie is the heterosexual sex where this guy like puts his bloody hand on his wife's face and silences her and some people have said to me well you're just making all this stuff up this is crazy you're, you're a wild interpretation dude go read the interviews with the director the director said that they wanted to you know talk about alternative relationships other than the heterosexual traditional family so they demonized the heterosexual traditional family and you know sold up everything else the Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I, uh, um, I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help. Both of you, at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. How did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? Yeah, probably shouldn't she have killed her. Than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Even... So, Nero said... She likes traditional families, that's evil, but she's a woman and non-white, so she may have been misguided, at the very least redeemable. That's what Nero said. Can Turns out. Can groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Turns out that's exactly that's right. She is See redeemable. She found out about how evil Christian camps were that what are you thinking? supported traditional families. Just, uh, I'm trying to wrap my brain around all that. She's I redeemed. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. And you killed her. It, it really doesn't change much, right? Yeah, you. she's, she's dead. She's still fucking crazy. Yeah, and she's dead because of you. She still tried to kill me. Mm. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey. It feels look good. At me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. Oh. Your feelings God, are valid, regardless of how stupid they are. You're speaking my language. <laughs> what is... Oh, my. What? Sorry, I'm just... thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and... He was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Well, he's native, right? He's not white. Very thorough. Achievement unlocked. I know you can't see it. It says full confession. Thanks thanks to my Googling. <laughs> we got a full confession out of Tessa. Wired says, It feels good that I learned how much my mother cared before I was forced to kill her. Exactly. That's what he's that's what Tyler is saying. Dionysus says, What if? Tyler's mom was aiming her this gun at an bleak. evil white priest standing behind little Tyler. Crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Uh-oh. Here we go. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. 
and Tyler did not, because I chose not to, he has not accepted the gift, the ring Damn. from it. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? He's a local hero. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Oh. He's Stellos Crossing's longest serving officer. Officer Justin Beaver. It's Justin Beaver. I think it's kind of cute. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Gossip? You are a... Never mind. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Okay. Um... What was that? Oh, please wait in line. Oh, for the restroom? <laughs> okay, whatever. Now, Dionysus says he's police, so he's bad, right? Well, he's also not white. Right? He's native. He's native Alaskan. Home sweet home. Plink it. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. What's this? Memo. To all Delos Crossing part, uh, Police Department officers, please be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients, uh, Dean Becker and Kevin Sutton will be transferred to the Fallen Creek Correction Center, SPU, on Monday, October 26th. Okay. So there's Sutton, Kevin, five feet, eight inches, hair brown, eyes brown, uh, not... What? Reading much else? Mayor Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. There's Becker Dean, five feet seven inches, brown, eyes green. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, Greg's. <laughs> Just leaving this out on display again. Marvelous. Like Officer Greg's? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Hmm. Uh, Marvelous says, female to male transsexual, scared of beavers. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who are always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Becky's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Yeah. Well, and you... Well. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> the Delos cr Shit. Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Did you... Sorry. Oh, you didn't break it. Jeez. Gosh, just grabbing at, there's like trophies on the, on the thing and he's just grabbing at it. Okay. Okay. It's time to remember something. I'm getting, I'm getting the thing. Where the hell is it? Where is the, is it here? Oh, it's time to remember. Oh Come my on, God. man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. I'm, Me neither. I'm not ready. Oh my gosh, our powers. They're so overwhelming and stuff. Okay, let's just go upstairs. Get this over with, man. <clears throat> Tyler, you coming? I'm not sure if that's true, Nero. It's probably still there. I don't think you ever really get rid of it. Well, maybe. Armory? Oh, we can get guns here. <laughs> is, is it time? Is this it? Chief. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. Yeah. So leave the door around. You know you murdered that, someone, right? But I don't need to tell you that it's off limits. Don't worry. I won't try to get in. You just I'm did. I'm not big on firearms. You just tried to get in. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? I don't know. 
but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Why would Eddie show the file of the murdered woman to the murderer? Knock, knock. It's me, Justin Beaver. Allison, hey, just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Cup of coffee? Thanks. Isn't it night? Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? I try not to drink coffee right before coffee bed. Sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Are we all pouty? We all pouty? Uh huh. Oh. What's this? Time to remember. More rememberings. All right, kids. Come in here. To whatever this is. Well, that was a hell of a memory. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. What is this? What the hell was that? <sighs> Something's in the way. <laughs> Something's in the way? Well, Tyler's a big, strong man. Open it, Tyler. <laughs> Something's in the way. <laughs> Where am I supposed to make coffee? Did Brown just flat out ignore me? Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. What? You you were faced away from him when he came out. What do you mean he ignored you? Oh. Jeez, Louise, this game. I'm ready for this to be over. Oh, powers. It's time to remember. This way, kids. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Oh, this is the hallway we were in just a second ago. What's what's over here? Where is the room I'm supposed to get coffee in? Is this it? Okay, let's go in. Locker room. Oh, I probably don't need to go in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's that? No, 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 nothing. You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Four days without a bear sighting. I mean, people must be locking up their you garbage. Don't mind if I take one? These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Well, then eat it. It's a cookie. It's still warm. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. You could sleep in your bed. The beds are hey, still there. You okay? You sleep in your mom's bed. <laughs> I mean, she's not using it because you killed her. <laughs> oh, time to use the powers. Ooh, that I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Ooh. Come on, don't freak out on me now. Here we go. I please, I can't lie. We already lied. Here we go. It's all going to be fine, okay? Here we go. Yep. You okay? Suspenseful Honestly, music. No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. <laughs> look where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> probably done by now. Oh, we should go find him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you mind oh. if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? 
<laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> wow. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable he dropped a vape. Time to remember more. <laughs> here, um, have a seat. All right. Damn it. Oh, sorry. Oh, there it is. Huh. They kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. It's an urn now. They keep your mother's ashes there. Because you killed her. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Is some sort of gremlin thing? The Ice King. Ooh. <laughs> Red on Twitch says, Did Tyler tell you why he is mentally ill yet? I don't think so. Are we, are we done? Or should we so, talk? So, isn't Brown waiting for us? Oh, yeah, We yeah. should head back to his office. Oh. I can move this. But the, wait, there's another memory I have to do after this. This is heavier than I expected. Luckily, it's on wheels. Oh no, don't walk through the door. I, have, I got a memory thing here. Where, where the hell is it? Oh, time to remember. Say Why something. Did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. Dionysus is trying to deal, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, Dionysus says, that was in the way, that's why she couldn't open it? Yeah, the thing on casters. <laughs> I'm not gonna hey, read that wire. Sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Yeah, uh, that happens a lot in small hey, towns. you remember this guy? Of course. Tyler Ronan. You murdered your mother. The prodigal son returns. <laughs> prodigal yep. son. What the hell? You. I didn't even recognize you at first. No, you I heard wouldn't. That a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality, not with family. Family. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeez. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. Wow. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's got to be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Should have asked her before you killed her. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for... being unconventional. Usually. That's, yeah, that's true. It's the other way around. Yeah, she was a real hippie goofball weirdo on drugs and drinking. Um, <sighs> what were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... Weeks. Maybe a month before. 
Eric says, Tyler has to act like a dick because... Well, um... <clears throat> I gotta make sure I don't get banned by YouTube. But, uh, I, th I, th I don't know if you were here at the beginning of the stream. I think you were. You know, I, I do think they're going with a very righteous indignation a angle. Like, while you and me are finding Tyler abrasive and rude, a lot of the young girls who play this sort of game, they're sort of re really, really on board with the... They know the correct terms to use. They're not gonna make a mistake like that, like, evil, drunk white guy. So, like, Tyler's abrasiveness is actually just more reasonable, righteous indignation against an oppressive world, rather than being sort of an abrasive jerk to people who are otherwise trying to be fairly nice to Tyler, right? Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us, or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? Just... No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Oh my Trust god. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be <laughs> sure. I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. To heal? And you took that away from us. You killed So them. why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And what? three years is nothing compared to seven. Well, that's right, kind of something, isn't it? Uh, God, this is <laughs> drama. <laughs> Eddie was just doing his best to protect me, to protect his family. I thought I was your family. You, you killed are. our mother. <laughs> Seven years apart didn't change that. <laughs> Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. Isn't that what family's for? Mm, sort of. Just move on. <laughs> Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Uh oh. I sided with Eddie instead of Tyler, and now he's gonna kill. <laughs> Allison, just like he killed his mom. <laughs> Dollface says, "Are you going to be a cop about this? The audacity, exactly, right? Well, and he didn't even say that he wouldn't give them the file. He just said, like, hey, there's a procedure, right? There's like a Freedom of Information Act or some like form he would need to, f like, Tyler would have to fill out some forms to get the file, right?" <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Mad Hunter. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you. No. Please. Mom. 
What the heck is this? Is this the fake memory they created? Scissors. Oh my god, the twist! Allison killed the mom, not Tyler. What? Oh my god. Ugh. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes. We look out for each other. Oh, my God. It's what goblins do. Oh, my God. It's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. And brothers and sisters. Gonna be okay. Oh, jeez. We're going to be okay. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> what in the hell was that? <laughs> oh. The goofy twists that they want to play on this. I feel like adding these sort of like insane twists is almost sort of like a uh, like a real cheap way to make something seem deep, right? Like it puts into perspective all the things I said before. Like even just a second ago, I was like, well, you know, maybe it was, we weren't sure uh, whether it was self-defense. And I, you know, so like I had Alice inside with Eddie. Like, well, we weren't sure that, like, really, if you had acted in self-defense, or you just killed her because you were evil. But now... It wasn't even Tyler who killed the mom. It was Allison. So the what I said, what the option I chose, makes no sense anymore. Because the twist undid all of it. Right? Oh, Dionysus is right. Dionysus says, it makes sense, though. Tyler is trans. Tyler is morally perfect. Can't be a murderer. True. It's gotta be this cis white woman. Oh, most people accepted the ring. 20% <laughs> of people didn't solve the door puzzle. I almost didn't. Thanks. I Someone helped me in the chat. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, about even. I sided with Eddie, but most people didn't. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. What do you... What? Sam's aggression? Sam came in half drunk, wondered what we were doing on the property. We told him. He sat down. He called Tyler the wrong name or whatever. What aggression? Hmm. Eddie felt validated by Allison's family plea. What's this? So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. Oh I my say we god. we go get it ourselves. You're going to break into the police you're station? Not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. That's really stupid. He said there's a procedure for getting it. So just follow the procedure. Like there's like forms you can fill out to take a look at the file. Oh my god. Okay. Now you're going to have to give me a second. Because I'm going to bring up a different game. <laughs> and it's it's sort of buggy because I can't really get the game to work in my streaming software, but I'm going to 
put it on a different screen, which is kind of hard to do. And then we're going to get it going. Also, there's no sound options in this game because it just got released on Steam. Okay, okay. Um... Oh, shoot. Come on, you. Oh, why is that doing that? We turn down the music just a smidge here. Come on, you. Really? It's not gonna go full screen now? What's the, uh... I know you can't see the game yet. What's the, um... Wind... Uh, I need the key commands to full screen a window. Full screen window... Windows 10. <laughs> hmm. Well, I might have to adjust the window a little bit here. Give me a second. Here we go. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Um, boink. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Is that it? Oh my god. Okay, let me- give me a second. Getting the window. This is really janky. <laughs> Control F1? Yeah, it doesn't work. We're playing Acquitted, which just got released on Steam. It's self-defense versus the brain dead. Oh my god, I don't know if this game's gonna work like this. Ah, crap. My my mouse is... Do you see my... Like, at the right side, you can see my cursor, and then... Like, it's broken. This thing is... <laughs> it's because this game is not working with my streaming software correctly. Okay, let me see here. Like... It's really unfortunate, because I got this to work once. Before the stream. And I don't know if I can do it again. Oh, man. <laughs> we, we've got a problem here. Skill issue. <laughs> uh, Nero says the left cannot meme while the right cannot code. Well, it's a brand new game. They they just came out with it. It looks like they've been adding a lot of stuff to it. Like the customization is brand new. Um. Uh oh. Okay, let me just see if I can. I'm gonna have to close it and reopen it a couple times. See if I can get this working. Please work, game. Just work, please. This is by Nordic Empire Games. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing this thing anymore. Um. Oh no, come on. Let's go like this. Oh crap, guys. And I... Oh. I've had a lot of problems with trying to get this working on the other screen, too. I was able to get this working before the stream, right? This is why I thought this would be a good one to do, because I was able to get it working beforehand. Okay. Oh. Let me move some windows around here. Let me move some stuff. Um, delete these. Oops. 
skill issue. I can't use computers, dude. It's too complicated for me. If I do screen, that's the wrong screen. Well, if I do so... Let me see what I can do about... Display capture? No, no, no. This other one. Main screen. Oh, thank God. We've got it. Acquitted. Self-defense versus the brain dead. Oops. Stage one. You were acquitted. Current objective. Get home safely. You can see there's zombie blood. Their zombie blood's all green. Let me turn this down slightly. Their zombie blood, it's all green. And they're coming to attack me after I was acquitted. You, there's power-ups you can pick up there. Throw a little grenade action. Melee. Some crazy power-up here. I think that explodes. Yeah, there we go. Throw another grenade there. Oh! Another grenade there. Bam! How about that? Bam! Bam! So, in the upper right, you can see I got 20 zombies left in this wave. Oh, got me. Ah, a grenade for you. And this is level one, wave three of three. So after this, we got three more, and then we'll go be able to go on to the next wave there. And you got the pistol as well as the AR. You survived. Go back to court for your next self-defense trial. We got attacked just trying to go home, and now we gotta go straight back to court. Defend ourselves again. And our self-defense trial. Then we go on to stage two, and of course we were acquitted! And now we gotta try and get home! But... They're here to attack us. Bam! Oh! Boom! Oh! Someone's throwing something. They're throwing Molotov cocktails or whatever. Get out of here. They... You will see, uh, as we go through the waves, there'll be more different... Like, different types of zombies, different weapons. Oh, my... Hey, 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 get out of here, you. Oh! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I... Okay, let me try... Retry that. Retry that. I forgot about the exploding barrels. I ended up getting exploded by an exploding barrel. Get out of here. Neon haired zombie. Do you know if this was made by a Swede? I swear I saw someone with a Swedish flag posting pics of this when it was in develop. I don't know. It is Nordic Empire Games. Certainly could be a Swede. But, uh, I, it was linked to me on Twitter, and I was gonna look at the Nordic Empire Games, uh, Twitter feed or whatever, but, uh, I don't know, I got busy, but I did buy the game. It's like four dollars on Steam. Get out of here. Oh, um... Thanks for the follow, Lord Tracy. I don't have the alerts on on, on this on this tab deal. Okay, so this is the end of the second wave. Close to it. There's a grenade for ya. Get out of here. Oh! Oh, wave three out of three. Bam! 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 <laughs> I 
<laughs> Nero says, is this an earlier Don't Nod game? So if anyone is curious, the Tell Me Why game is made by Don't Nod, the same people who made the Life is Strange games. I don't think this is the same development team. Okay, there's one more brain dead around here who's come to attack me. And I have to defend myself. It's a self-defense situation. I survived. Go back to court for your next self-defense trial. Okay. Uh, then we go on to stage three. And I was acquitted. Great. Now I just gotta get home. Oh god. They're here again. Look at that. Who's throwing things? Get out of here. No, no littering. No littering, you zombies. You think you care about the environment? I don't think so. I'm here to clean house. Uh oh. It's a boss. Oh wait, I have a shotgun now. God, that's a terrible sound. It's absolutely frightening. Grenades. <gasps> she got me. Damn. Murdered by brain dead. Okay, wait, wait, we got this again. We got this. I'm gonna switch to the uh, shotgun. I'm gonna use the shotgun for the whole thing. The shotgun, look at that. Boom, super satisfying. It is, you reload one shell at a time. You can see that in the lower right. Oh, gosh. Oh, armor. Need that. I have a hard time... I think it's the colors of them. I have a hard time seeing some of the power-ups. Add colorblind mode, please. Okay, okay, okay. Get out of here, you... Oh! That was close. Probably didn't need to get that close. Hey, 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 hey. I need room to escape this boss. Grenade down. Here she comes. Oh, baby. Here we go. What's the name of this game, says Lord Tracy. This is Acquitted. It was just released uh, on the 2nd of this month on Steam. So uh, we just got acquitted in our self-defense trial in the courthouse. We walked out of the courthouse. We're being attacked by waves of brain dead. There's 11 left. Boom. Boom. Nice. Boom. Look at that. Two left. Where are they? Over here? No. Where the heck are these, uh... I have to defend myself from these people. Where are they? Or the, uh, zombies, not people. I have to defend myself from these zombies. These brain deads. They're attacking me. Oh, uh, wha-bam! So I survived. Now I have to go back to court for my next self-defense trial. Just straight back to court. Here we go. Number four. Objective, get home safely. Immediately attacked by the brain dead. Oh, see this? Uh, I love the shotgun. I like shotguns in games. All right. This is why when you see me play Left 4 Dead with American Krogan, I'm always rocking the shotgun. Is the AK better? Yeah, probably. But I can't live with... Oh, they threw a piss bottle or something at me. It's like I'm Andy No. You know him? Oh, jeez. He's had all sorts of milkshakes and piss thrown at him. Oh, what did I get there? What's this? Oh, no. Get out of here. Okay, let me take a look here. Um, what's that? Oh! I don't know what that is. Oh, shoot. It's like a cover. Okay, give me a grenade here. I gotta run. 
He's a lot more brain dead than before. This is still only the second wave out of three. Give me that health. I need that. This is wave three out of three. Oh, goodness. All right. I think with four, four, you can sort of like create a barricade. It's like Fortnite, guys. Holy crap. Get that grenade down. Oh, look at that. I, the, the pistol sounds nice. But imagine using anything other than a shotgun. I mean, really. Dionysus says, do I have plans for my next game? So that'd be, he's talking about my next Wednesday stream, you know. What's gonna replace, tell me why. Um, what's that one someone gave to me? Empire Rome or something? I heard that's pretty nasty. I'm gonna take a look at that this weekend and see if that's something we'll play for a Wednesday stream. We could do Mass Effect. Lord Tracy wants to know if I can drop a link to this game. Give me a second. I'll pull it up. Library. Acquitted. Store page. Copy URL. There it is. Oh! I survived! Time to go straight back to my next self-defense trial. Stage five. I was acquitted on self-defense. Are you confused about who I am? Okay, good. Got the uh, armor jacket. Need that. Let's switch over to the shoddy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They still got the piss bottles, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I tell you what. Total War Rome? No, it's like Empire Rome or Warm Rome Empire. Oh! Whoa! Watch out! She's a coming! Get out of here. Whoa! Got a couple jackets there. Get out of here, lady. Throw a grenade on her. Think I got her here. Wow, they're beating up on her body. What's with that? It's in the way of her, them. Oh yeah, it blocks the path. Her body blocks the path. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> so, um... Nero says that this is the Tell Me Why ending. Yeah. I, don't know. I think that the ending of Tell Me Why is slightly different than this. Unless you mean societally. Wow, look at all the green blood, dude. It really piles up. There's one more in here. I have to defend myself. It's a self-defense situation. I survived. Back to my next self-defense trial. There you go. Now we're on the stage six. What's this? Sniper rifle? Oh! You can vary how... Whoa! What is this, a 30 odd 6 This is a powerful gun! Whoa! It fires slow, though. Nice. You see that? And look at that. New melee. I got the sword now. Whoa! I like the sword. Whoom. Boom. Boom. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Okay. That's shoddy time. Like, you know, the sword's great and all, but time for canuple grenades, shotguns, real man stuff here. You know, the kind of stuff Tyler would be into. <laughs> Man things only. No pink. No pink. No dresses. Man stuff here. Only the manliest of stuff. Okay, what's this? Three? Whoa! Check this out! Boom! It's It's got a long wind-up. But it gives them. Nice. Um... Okay. I, I gotta stop screwing around. I don't want to die here. Oh. Dude, the shotgun feels great in this game, I'll tell you that. If you like this game, you really need to play Hatred, says Zakun. Oh, wow. Luckily, you know, I'm playing sloppy, but luckily this isn't one of those games where it's like, you get killed, you know, instantly or whatever. Okay, wave three or three, there's seven left. Self-defense situation. There's one. Defended myself again. Gotta defend myself two more times. You think I should try Postal 2? I haven't played that, yeah. God, Victorian says, maybe you should replay Tell Me Why and make different decisions. I, I, like, I don't think many people want to see me play Tell Me Why again. Look at this. Bam. Bam. This is a cool weapon. You can use F to switch your melee and your gun. Marvelous says... Postal 2 was sympathetic to the people at Waco. Really? Interesting. Shoddy power. Total shoddy power. Oh! Everybody run! Nice. You gotta get those explodable barrels. It's not quite a shooter unless there's explodable barrels. Okay, let me throw that grenade down there. Uh-oh. Piss bottle. Things are getting out of control here. Just gotta clean these up. And then we're good. Oh! MSM! We bring you the filtered truth! Thank you, MS MSM! That's very kind of you. I wonder if I can, uh... No. Oh no, another boss. Oh no! Look at that. We got taken out. Taken out by the brain dead. Okay, we'll, we'll try it again. <laughs> You're done with this game already? You don't like it? I mean... Obviously there's... Not like a huge variety of gameplay, it's just like, it's gonna get harder and harder and harder. Right? There's only three waves each time, but the waves are composed of more nasty stuff. Of course, you have that, um, like, uh, in these late later waves, you have the visual noise component, like those piss jars or whatever they're throwing at you. I mean, I could be playing this better, though. Let me, let me get, let me get this, let me get this real quick. That's the piss bottle guy. All right. Uh. Oh man, they're dropping stuff that I can't pick up. Well, maybe if I come around this way and grab it. Oh, there's two bosses at once? I don't know what that does really. Oh, oh. Goodness, goodness gracious. 
Um. Nice. Save it for the boss. Save- what am I saving for the boss? Nice. What if I get that there? I, I still don't know exactly what these- <gasps> That was- I- that was- that was- I like- I- Yeah. Could have done way better. Come on. Come on! I was acquitted! Gotta defend myself. As you might be able to tell, I don't normally play this type of game, so... I'd also just be better if I was better. <laughs> what did I get there? What's this? Oh! Are we playing some Counter-Strike? Nice. Um, five? Oh, that's not what I meant. Gat says he lost at level six. I think that's what I'm on now. Six. Oh, right in the hallway. You know, make him walk down that little hallway. You hit every shot. No problem. Uh, whoops. Um, reload. Whoa, shoot. Whoa! And hit that thing. Let's get another hallway here. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it this time. We're not screwing around. Whoa! Okay. I get it. I'm getting it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, can't go down there. It's blocked. It's blocked by your body. Oh my goodness. The brain dead are all over me. <laughs> uh, Jacob says this brings back memories of an old... Flash zombie game. No, it definitely reminds me of some of the old Flash games. But, I mean, like, how many of us spent a lot of fun hours on those games? I mean... Get out of here, brain dead. Gotta defend myself! Dionysus says, there's a game called Hype Mat Defender Rebellion. Which is somewhat similar. It's only available in German. No, it's in English. I've played it on stream before. Krogan, American Krogan has played it on stream before. There's a German version and an English version of Hype Mat Defender. Hype Mat Defender used to be on Steam. They removed it from Steam. The German government released a, like a 200 page report on how it's evil, right? It's part of the German government official censorship list or whatever. And, um,. They're releasing at they're, the guy who made it. His company is called Cult Games, K V L T Games, and he does game jams for amateur game developers to come together and make games in a big event. Definitely check him out on Twitter. Check him out on Telegram. And he's working on the sequel, Hype Mat Defender Wall Game. Okay, we got to go back for our next self defense trial. We were acquitted again! Objective! Get home safely! Was that one holding a dynamite? Oh my gosh! Now they're pulling out the big guns! Molotov cocktails or something here. They're not just piss bottles anymore. Oh my gosh, these brain dead are dangerous. Okay, I gotta be, gotta keep it, oh no. I gotta play a little bit cautious here. I wanted to get this armor though. 
Okay, well that wasn't worth it at all, was it? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Reload. Any... Any health packs? Any health packs for your boy Embargo? No? Nice. A little bit of environmental damage. I don't suppose they take damage from their own... Whatever. Oh, there's a thing. Ooh, I almost got caught on that car. Well, I did, but not enough to die. Don't die on the health pack. I need that. Woo! Uh, is the Hype Mat stream on your YouTube? Yeah, on my Gaming Embargo YouTube channel. Uh, it should probably be archived in there somewhere. I mean, if you type... If you go to my channel and just search... Uh, I don't know how you do it on mobile, but I know you can just search in my channel on the desktop. If you type in Hype Mat, it'll probably come up. I was on a stream with Roland, the creator, and uh, uh, Krogan, on Krogan's channel. Whoa! These, these cocktails! It's getting harder and harder to defend myself. And I survived. But you know what that means. Because I survived, I have to go back to trial on self-defense charges. Or argue for self-defense. But I was acquitted. Thank goodness. Nice, nice, nice. Let's reload. Okay, this is gonna get sketchy here. You can tell already. It's gonna be a little bit nasty this time. But I think I think I'm maybe starting. So, some of these guys are flying forward now. They're a little bit more agile than they used to be. Oh my gosh, he almost... It's a one-shot if you get hit by that boss. Even some of these guys are knocking me around. They still got their piss bottles. There's the boss. It's a second boss. That's what it is. Okay, not F. That's a bad move. I don't want to go melee only here against these bosses. Oh, don't knock me into the boss, you stupid brain deads. Okay, the more damage boss is further behind. Anyone want to drop any health? Woo! Oh, got one of the two bosses. Now I just have to avoid... Uh, when's Krogan gonna be back? Uh, Krogan, I was talking about him about, uh, playing with me on this weekend. He was looking to maybe try the new, uh, Deep Rock Galactic patch on my stream this weekend. Oh my gosh, look at that! I gotta go get that! Look at that! What is this? Whoa! Okay. You know, I think that's really cool, but, uh... I, I don't think I'm good enough to, like, go crazy melee mode against all these brain dead. I think I need to stick with guns. You know what I mean? Look at all these brain dead trying to get in. <laughs> Ooh. Get out of here, lady. Nice, 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 nice. We're on the final wave here. And there's a couple. Woo! It's feeling good. Oh no. I'm low on health here. I mean, the axe is cool, but, uh... Uh, I'm, I'm not... I feel like, at this point, I'm not into melee. If I was maybe a more clever, experienced gamer... If I was more of an epic gamer... Oh. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! What?! What?! Look at that! What is this?! 
Oh, there's there is a, there is a uh, wait a second. Can I reload it? Nice. Look at that. And then you can. Oh my gosh. And you had to knock out the boss's body to get it underneath. Is there another boss over here? Look at that! There's items in there! Nice. Nice. Stick with the shotgun for a second, because, again, that does require you to be in melee, doesn't it? We had got to go back to court, though. we got to go back to court before we're acquitted on self-defense. Oh, no. Not the pee bottle. This damn brain dead. I might stick towards the left side for a little bit. Kind of blew myself up there slightly. Let's see if I can get some good damage on this boss. Well, oh no. I really don't want one of these regular zombies to knock me into the boss. Because that's like my lose condition. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All of the visual noise. Oh no, not a health pack. That's in the terrible space. Also, I'm nearly dead here. Nice, nice, nice. Stay alive. My headcanon is that Krogan is a workhorse with half Peruvian children. What the hell are you talking about? Oh no. Your head cannon is weird. Oh no, 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 no. There's 44 of these left in this last wave and I'm at 19 health. No, 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 two health? No. Well, that's about it. So there you go, that's that's the tenth round I'm lost on there. That's acquitted. Self-defense versus the brain dead. So that's the two games we got to play today. <laughs> Tell me why and the acquitted. Slightly different messaging between those two. And I'm going to leave a review on a critted. Pretty good. P pretty good. Pretty good. Is there an um, emoji I can use on this? Let me see if I can throw... <laughs> can I put emojis in here? Can I put a thumbs up? God, come on. What's that thing? Okay. Thumbs up emoji. Okay. Okay, I also put a review up of, uh... I put a review on the game. Go ahead and thumbs up my review so people will, um... Oh, it's... This review is waiting analysis. By automated contact check system. Okay. Once my review's up, go ahead and, uh, thumb it up so that way, uh, people can see my expert analysis of the game. It says, pretty good. Pretty good game. <laughs> well, hey, thanks for showing up for the stream today. We'll be streaming this weekend. I think we'll be playing some Deep Rock Galactic. It is the new update, ultimately. And uh, I might be able to wrap uh, American Krogan up in it. He might be able to show up this weekend to come play. And if he does, I'll try and have some stuff and we'll sort of like talk about those things as well as play Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> 
Who are you talking to, Zakun? Anyway, it's the first one. The first one. The feet are weird. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with feet. You walk on them, right? I don't think feet are gross. I don't think feet are amazing or whatever. It's just, uh, they're just feet. There's nothing special about them. Well, I, uh, too bad I wasn't able to beat or get further. I don't know how many mo levels there are in the game in uh, Acquitted, but uh, wasn't able to beat that last one. Skill issue. A little bit of a skill issue. But uh, that's about it for today. I hope you all have a good week, and I'll see you this weekend. Remember, I do stream on the weekend, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday and Sunday. Be doing, should be doing some Deep Rock Galactic. I'll be trying to wrap American Krogan into it, wrangle him in. But uh, otherwise, have a good one, everybody. Peace out. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Welcome here.